The citizens of Denver have spoken and apparently they're fed up with electric scooters and they're making it known by preventing other residents from being able to ride them. God, I love these people, they're the best. Okay, and I'll explain oh. why in a minute. I'll explain why in a minute and they did something very naughty, okay? They damaged private property, don't do that. But here's what happened, don't do that. Per city, okay, so they essentially like scratched off the QR code, which you need to scan in order to pay for the scooter and make it operable. And then they left these notes. The note says, per city code, all vehicles must be parked in a manner, in a manner that does not impede pedestrian clear pass or access in the right way, sidewalk area or street, or block the boarding or departure of transit users. This scooter slash bike was incorrectly parked, resulting in the QR code being obscured. Contact Lyft or Lime if you wish to use this vehicle. We are sorry for your inconvenience, but unfortunately some people suck and are not considerate of how other people use sidewalks. Can I just say, hallelujah. You have never been this wrong. Hallelujah. You've come close, yes. but you've never no. been this wrong. No, no, that I have not come close. Me so okay, you caught that. No, uh, okay. That is the most annoying Karen nonsense right there. You know what's annoying? What's Nate? annoying is when these electric scooters are like zipping through the sidewalk as you're walking. Yes, they should not be on the sidewalk. No, they shouldn't be on the sidewalk, but they're always on the sidewalk. Always, I don't feel always, like I see always. Them on the sidewalk they're very everywhere. Much. They're everywhere. They're they terrorize you. They're <laughs> zipping by. They don't care about the pedestrians. People are gonna get hurt. Uh, and I don't mm. like them see. I don't like seeing them littered everywhere. They're littered everywhere. Everywhere. A little. No, I don't think no, that they're not a little, so a lot. ugly. You live in that, LA. Like, what do you mean a little? Well, I see them a little. You live I in a gated community or something? What's going on? Do you on? think I live in a gated community? No, I don't, which is why it like shocks me that people don't see how much of a problem this is. I look, I think that there could there, there's a lot of issues with the scooters. I agree. Even with using them, but I like the idea that it's encouraging some people not to use cars for short range transportation and things like that. I think that that's important. You know, I you know what works for short range transportation? Don't say walking. Walking. That's no. Walking. Nobody walks. I'm, Who's look, got time to walk? Who's got legs to walk? I think Americans should make time to walk. Mm -hmm. Get some like if you could find a way to build physical activity into your day, why not do that instead of annoying everyone with these stupid scooters? I think people walking is annoying. Look at them like legs swishing. No, I'm upright. I find it annoying. Places no, I like think LA already are not like conducive to like pedestrians. Like mm -hmm. pedestrians being safe and like it's this has made the yeah, situation we also have tons even of less traffic. safe. So having some of those people be on scooters mm -hmm. as opposed to cars reduces congestion. So and it makes parking less up, of an issue. Giving up our walkways to electric scooters. No, is they shouldn't the be solution. on there. But no, that's, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. That's an issue with those people, not with the scooters. Okay, so what do we do about it? To have the cops actually like I don't yell at them or something. I don't know. You could do that. I'm saying somebody going and damaging private property and then leaving the little thing and then saying that the justification is that some people suck when you literally just got done doing something that shows that you suck. I find to be annoying. It is not on you to police it in that way. Sure, I've John used them. Wardarola. Thank Play you. It again. I've used Play them. It again. They sure, John Wardarola. God, I, I really miss Emma. We she really she had her finger on the pulse. Oh, we should message Emma to see what she thinks of these things. She's in New York, I wonder. Um, well, they have decent public transportation. That's there, true, and right? we need it. And look, I don't think that the scooters are the best solution, but I do think that we, we as a culture are way too focused on personal automobile use and it should be distributed with public transportation, John, walking short stop distances, taking bicycles, stuff away from me. scooters and motorcycles. God damn it, man. <laughs> no, like, listen, I know that it is what it is. I live in LA, although I was born and raised in LA, it's not like I made the decision to come to LA, mm -hmm. right? Everything, my family, my work, everything is in LA. And unfortunately, it's a densely populated place. It is. Okay, I don't like people. I've, and I'm the one that. time that I get to be alone is in my car. Mm -hmm. Okay, get off my balls and okay. let me enjoy my motor vehicle. Okay, <laughs> this automobile that I drive mm -hmm. is fuel efficient. 
Okay. It is. It is. I am. I like when the time comes and I can afford it, I will switch over to either a hybrid or an electric vehicle. I'm I understand. For that. I understand the environmental concerns at play. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to take the few things that make life bearable for people away from them. I, first of all, that is not my That is goal. what you're doing. Have you ridden one of these doing. scooters? Sure, um, John Wardarola. I don't, I can't. Emma speaks again and I'm she knows what she's talking about. I'm up with the, fan, the ghost of Emma and you. <laughs> Have you ridden one of these scooters? No, I'm not interested. You should try it. I like to walk. I like to walk too, but walking is also significantly slower. Sometimes you like you, you got to get for it. you got to run out, pick up lunch, come back to your job because you don't have a long lunch break or something like that. Like we run quick errands that you only need to carry like one bag. Like I think it is efficient for some things. Listen, if we actually had enforcement to ensure that these stupid electric scooters weren't being used on the sidewalks and to ensure that they weren't being placed in random places throughout mm -hmm. every neighborhood, fine. Okay, as long as it's not bothering me and standing in the way of me like being able to walk on a sidewalk, <laughs> I'm fine with it. But that's not what's happening. God, I hate these things. It's a play. So, okay. Here's here's more. One person on Reddit writes, "I understand the point that scooters are littered everywhere and people should put them in better spots. However, I don't think painting the QR code black and slapping a very Kareny sticker on them is the answer. The scooter is now stuck in that spot on the sidewalk, which this person is clearly very triggered by. Yeah. I know, but this is, they're making a point. It's like terror, what, it's what, terror. By the way, this, this, terror, this Reddit terror. user, okay, Pat's Bruins Socks Celts, that guy, mm -hmm. um, assuming it's a guy. Okay, so what, what, is your, what is your solution? Like, is your solution to hit up Bird? And be like, yo, executives over at Silicon Valley, can you please do something about your crappy electric scooters mm -hmm. so they're not like littered throughout my neighborhood? Well, they, and what so would they do? This is a social they're not problem. They're not gonna do anything about well, they it. They can't control human behavior. The issue is the same as every issue, it's that we're awful. In the same way, we are awful. every single car you pull up next to and look into, that person is playing Candy Crush or something. We, are huge issues. And when I see the the painting, the QR code black, I just think about how like when I go to a gas station and I see that like the meter, it's like scratched out. It's just, it's like these little strike backs that people do. I just hate it. The meter scratched out or in? Yeah, people like, they'll, like they'll put a marker on something, or they'll scratch something. It's like everybody just wants to damage something. And I hate it, I hate how everything is busted up and broken down and we could we could have a society that works, but we, we don't care. We don't care about each other. The road is terrible because nobody cares about the rules. They, they only care about screwing everyone over to get themselves to where they're going, where they don't even wanna be, by the way, a couple seconds faster. We're I take the my problem. Time. I will have everyone at yeah. TYT know I take my time when I'm coming into the office. Okay. So don't you worry. I see so many people and I just, I get <laughs> enraged at the way they don't care about anyone on the road with them. It's we're the problem, fundamentally. Not technology. We are the problem. I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I still hate the scooters, though. Um, by the way, in 2018, people in San Francisco were literally smearing e scooters with poop in protest against the startup's devices scattered in the streets. Seems I don't extreme. advise that. I do think that fecal matter takes it a little too far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and did they bring the poop? I don't know. Like just I don't want to know. In case they find one. Listen, we're in California and there's fecal matter everywhere. I'm not even exaggerating, mm -hmm. okay? Human fecal matter, dog fecal matter, fecal matter everywhere. <laughs> uh, this state is falling apart. I, I'm not kidding about that. Um, some people also took things a little too far. Uh, here is a photo of someone who was so fed up with the e scooters that the person decided to throw them. I like that caption. I don't <laughs> like what they did, but I like the caption. <laughs> Can't sit here. It's so good. And then finally on Instagram, or I should say, uh, Bird Graveyard on Instagram is exclusively <sighs> dedicated to dead scooters just, with people throwing them in uh, bodies of water. I mean, I'm not condoning this. Mm, yeah, you're only delighting in it. I'm, I am in fact delighting in it, especially this one final image, which is my personal favorite. Aww. Listen, <laughs> I think the offender here is the electric scooter because that is the bathroom for the puppy. Mm -hmm. And so who's really invading? 
the environment here. I would argue it's the electric scooters. So good for you. I think that's a little Frenchy, right? Little cutie it might pie. be. Huh? They are cute. Little cutie pie. <laughs> you take a piss on that thing. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a better way, John. I I don't know what the better way is. I it's walking. I despair for the future. By the way, can we just take a quick poll in here? People who agree with me, raise your hand. I can see you guys. One, two. Oh, John, sorry, you better no. raise your hand, okay? You're you're a rookie. You gotta raise your hand, John. Precious. Okay, here okay, here in the control room, we have two against scooters. Of course, it's me. And Ashwarya. And Ashwarya. And we Come have on. Skip and Mr. John De Silva for scooter. Thank you. Oh, oh he doesn't because Skip doesn't have a car. Oh, but I love You Skip. want him to be condemned and to I want walk. Skip to be happy. Maybe God he is. Have you ridden a scooter? Skip it makes is the me only happy. one that's kind of persuaded me to soften up a little bit. Can't you imagine Skip on a scooter just I can. happy as can, I can be? I can. I can. And Skip is the kind of considerate person who would not like just first of all use the sidewalks and then just like mm -hmm. toss the scooter wherever. Like when I get to where I'm going on the scooter, like Skip, I just jump cool off and let it. it keep going. <laughs> I don't even care. Oh. No, I'm oh. gone. <laughs> By the way, on my way to work this morning, true story, a scooter almost hit me. When I was approaching the See, intersection, it happened to me too. The light was red, and I was obeying the the, the law, of course. <laughs> and the scooter just kept going, and he almost hit my car. But I will give one thing for the scooter rider: he was wearing a red helmet. Okay, I don't I'll care if they that. wear helmets or not. That doesn't concern me. But I'm, I'm, she'd prefer no helmet. She wants blood when no, she finally I hits don't, them. No, I don't. I don't care. Like, if you want to be risky with your life, be risky with your life. As long as you're not risking other people's lives. That's my take. Well, I think on the scooter, they're risking other people's lives as little as any form of transportation is. Like, they could T-bone your car. You're not even going to feel it. They're going to be hurt. Mm-hmm. You can't wait. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm saying. But like, they do risky maneuvers with the electric okay. scooter, so I don't, don't do that. that I don't. do. I, I look. I've only thing. used it a little John's, bit recently. John's been using the electric scooter, so he's taking this personally. But John, it ain't about you. You mm -hmm. and Skip are good guys, and you guys are super considerate people. Okay, thank you. Most people aren't. To your point. That's true. So since yeah. most people aren't, we should ban them. I feel like. I feel like we've sort of moved past it a little bit. Yeah. I don't see it as much. It's anecdotal, obviously, mm -hmm. but I mean, look, it's also the pandemic, so who knows? I, I don't think that they are increasing in usage year by year. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.